Hello and welcome again to UCL Global Health. In Africa today, about one in 30 women could die uh, during their lifetime uh, as a result of a maternal death, the complications of pregnancy. And about one in six women could experience uh, either the death of a newborn or a, a stillborn baby. So these, this is still a very big problem. And I'm joined by Tim Coburn, who's a senior research fellow at UCL, working on the Evidence for Action uh, program. Now, Tim, this is a program that involves UCL and a whole number of other partners mm. in Britain, Options and Aberdeen and Oxford and Southampton, with six, is it six African countries, which are? Yeah, we, there's three in West Africa, which are Nigeria, Ghana and Sierra Leone, and then three in East Africa, Ethiopia, Tanzania and Malawi, which is primarily where I'm focused. And this is funded mainly by the British government, and it's about creating a movement to, to have a big impact, of course, and save lives, but also through an evidence-based approach. How are they going about doing that? Um, so the three main themes are evidence, accountability and action. So it's very much focused on providing an evidence base for maternal and neonatal mortality and contributing factors right down to the district level, which is not very common in, in African countries at all these days. Um, and then really trying to use that evidence to hold um, the decision makers in the health system and elsewhere in government to account to try and make those numbers go down to, to improve those mortality rates. So really trying to use the evidence to generate um, political action, but at the same time, they're running a very large public campaign called Mummy Yay, which is mobilizing large sections of society through drives for blood donation, through various media events, getting corporate partners, mobile phone companies involved, very big mobilization. So, so it's a big program. I mean, yeah. start with the evidence. I think you were just in Brazil with the Countdown Group. And I think representatives from across at least three of those countries went. Yeah. Brazil uh, and the countdown movement is all about monitoring progress with reductions in death rates. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. I was invited to, to a workshop a few weeks ago, which is really um, trying to um, build case studies for various different countries that have a story to tell. So Malawi is one of them. And through my work with Evidence for Action, I'll be helping the National Statistical Office in Malawi, who are also in t attendance at this workshop, build up a case study of what's happened to towards achieving the Millennium Development Goals. What has happened? Are we, uh, is um, it good news? Yeah, for Malawi, it is good news. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're on track to, to reach the target of a two-thirds reduction in childhood mortality, which is under five mortality yeah. from 1990 to 2015. And they've also made significant progress in maternal mortality, although they may not reach the target because they did have a rise in maternal mortality in the late 90s, probably due to HIV and other problems. Yeah. I mean, to what extent is the reduction simply because HIV is getting its act together, or is it because there is improvements in the um, Well, certainly that might be the case for maternal mortality, but, but in general, health systems have improved a lot in Malawi over the last... Um, 10, 15 years, and especially at the community level with a huge wave of the community health workers called Health Surveillance Assistance in Malawi um, being funded and working to treat childhood illness right in the community and make sure children are referred to village clinics and health centres as appropriate. So that's yeah, they, they have been successful and yeah. I think their rollout of community health workers and indeed mm -hmm. in other African countries has been strong. Yeah. But you've been working, one thing that interests me is you're the community maternity death reviews. Mm. And this is a, a, you've had an initiative that stimulated women and community groups mm. themselves monitoring what happens after a death. Could you just let us know a bit more about that? Yeah, so in a, in a part of a previous project was um, encouraging facility staff to do reviews of deaths or near misses after they happen to learn from them. And, and a near miss is where a mother comes in and nearly dies. Nearly but. dies, yeah. And, and obviously when they do die as well, they work out what went wrong, really looking at all the system factors and trying to prevent it happen, trying to prevent it from happening again. And so this idea was then taken to community the community level in another pilot project with some colleagues of mine in Machinji in Malawi 
and they had a very successful project where they got the community members to also meet and discuss what went wrong for the women or even her baby because we were mm. also doing neonatal death reviews and then they they then take that evidence back to the facility and they work with the facility in a process that um, really tries to work through the problems at both levels, including the referral networks. So the beauty of that is it's not just collecting information in a survey. No, it's really using It's actually evidence. an intervention. Yeah, I mean, it is really using evidence to make sure that things go better the next time, yeah. Yeah, and uh, so what, what, what next with E4A? What are the big challenges and where do you think evidence for action can, can go next? Um, well, I think it's, it's, it's building a lot of momentum with these public campaigns and, and we're in the process of gathering a lot of evidence and right now actually we're um, reaching out to all the various different organisations in Malawi who are collecting evidence and trying to come to a consensus on what the evidence is, put this on the internet so it's available to um, the members of the public in Malawi and they can track progress and that can also help them um, lobby for change if, and to see where things are going. So it's, it actually it's helps going. in Malawi at the top if you've got a woman president who's very committed to maternity. Yeah, I mean that's that's obviously a great help. Joyce Banda yeah. has been, I think, quite yeah. a beacon. But linked to this exciting Mama Yay movement, yeah, which yeah. is giving a voice to women all over the country. Mm -hmm. and, and not just focusing, I think, on death, which is a very... Yeah, they've had a very positive take on it. Rather than looking at death, they're looking at saving, saving lives, not preventing death. It's which is a better message. Yeah. Tim, thank you very much. Thanks, Anthony. Cheers.